One of the biggest challenges that I hear from both beginner developers and intermediate developers is around how to start projects from scratch. So maybe you've taken some courses, you've attended a boot camp or something like that, and you've got a bunch of methods and functions and strategies and approaches swirling around in your head. And you sit down in front of your text editor to actually work on a project from scratch. And you kind of have this what the fudge moment where you don't really know what to do. You don't know how to get started. Um, and so a few years back, I created a workshop program called the Vanilla JavaScript Academy that's designed specifically to address this challenge. Today, I want to tell you about it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with more of my quick tips. Um, but I have a new session starting in just a couple weeks. And if you're someone who's struggling with this, I think you're going to find it really interesting. Stick around to the end and I will share a promo code with you that you can use to get 40% off registration this week only. So you're not going to want to miss that. Um, so the way the program works is that uh, you are, over the course of six weeks, going to get 70 lessons, work on 18 projects, and um, you're going to have access to a bunch of support to help you get unstuck. And that's really kind of the, the heart of this program. So every other day, you get a project to work on, uh, and that comes with one to three short lessons that provide some background and give you a template to get started. So you're not starting with just a complete empty text editor. You're getting something that usually is an HTML file with um, like an element or two in it and an empty script element where you can write your code. Um, and on the in-between days, so Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I share how I approach the project. This is not necessarily the correct way. In JavaScript, there's multiple ways to solve a problem. I just, I share the way that I happen to approach it, um, as well as some common challenges or gotchas that I see students run into. So the types of things that I see students get wrong um, and, uh, or, you know, like mistakes that they make and how you can address them. If you get stuck, there's a 24 seven private Slack channel just for students in the program. who are all going through the same projects at the same time as you. And then every other week, I also have a video office hours where you can jump on a live call with myself and other students, talk about some of the challenges you're running into, get me to actually look at live code in real time and talk through it. Um, uh, it's just a really valuable part of the program. What really makes this whole thing work is that unlike a traditional course, I'm not dumping a bunch of stuff on you all at once and then just saying, all right, go through it. So you don't get that overwhelmed feeling of, oh my God, it's just, it's one little thing that you work on that day. And then the next day we talk about how it went. Um, and the projects build on each other. So the project that you work on today builds on the stuff you did the day before. Uh, and a lot of times what we're really doing is taking one giant project and breaking it into a bunch of smaller uh, self-contained parts so that each one is still a complete thing, but you're growing your skills slowly over time. So it's a lot more manageable. You avoid getting burnt out. And the kind of the, the pill and the peanut butter, for those of you who have dogs and understand what that means, um, is, uh, is that in working that way, you're also learning how to build big projects by breaking them up into lots of smaller little parts. Um, so uh, the workshop, the Vanilla JS Academy started off as one, um, one workshop just focused on kind of some essentials. And it's since evolved into three different programs. They all run at the same time. Please don't sign up for more than one. Just sign up for one. Um, uh, I run them multiple times a year. I have a lot of students who will just knock out all three over the course of like a nine to 12 month period. Um, but so Vanilla JS Essentials is really focused on the fundamentals of DOM manipulation and injection, uh, working with APIs, managing data, working with arrays and objects, browser storage, stuff like that. Structure and Scale uh, is designed for a slightly more intermediate developer, and it focuses on how to structure and organize your code as your projects get bigger. So once you get past, okay, I've got stuff in the UI, I want to do things to it. Um, you'll start to run into this problem where your code gets bigger and bigger and bigger and keeping it organized and making sure that as the project goes, it's efficient to work with, it's efficient for users, that becomes a lot harder. And so we talk about that. 
uh, things like how to create libraries that you can repurpose across projects, how to work with native web components, looking at JavaScript classes, breaking your code into smaller parts with ES modules, and then how to make a much better end user experience and write code that can really scale and work offline using service workers. Um, and then uh, once you get past that and you're ready to start doing some really crazy stuff, we get into web apps, uh, which is where you learn how to build, as the name implies, dynamic web applications with JavaScript. Um, this one is really cool because we will actually, rather than 18 kind of distinct projects, we're working on, um, it's still 18 smaller projects, but it's all towards one big goal of building an e-commerce platform from start to finish, from scratch. Um, so you will be building a front end, integrating a checkout platform with Stripe where users can actually purchase things, and then building a back end where you, the store owner, can manage your products, update prices, add new products, and so on. Um, and so with this one, you're gonna learn things like state-based UI, routing, data reactivity, serverless, how to create your own APIs, and how to handle token-based authentication. Um, so it's just a really, really cool program um, that I think you're gonna really like. Um, so just to knock out some of the common questions I get here. So, um, you know, when do you have to log in every day? When do, you know, when, when are lessons due? That sort of thing. So this isn't like school. There's no homework. Um, I don't grade you. I don't, you know, I'm not like, oh, you did this wrong. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, I have, I have folks who live kind of on the other side of the world and they're a totally different time zone from me. Um, all of the stuff gets dropped at midnight. U.S. Eastern time. So if you're in, say, Australia, you might get all the projects done before my U.S. students, including myself, have even woken up for the day. Um, maybe you have a busy work schedule, so you do things at night after work. Um, or, you know, I've even had folks who they just kind of batch everything and do it over the weekend, depending on, you know, what happens with work or life comes up or they take a vacation, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so a lot of flexibility there. The office hours for this particular session are going to be held on Thursdays at uh, noon U.S. Eastern time. I know that is problematic for folks in um, certain Asian and Pacific countries. So like if you're in Australia or New Zealand or Singapore, that ends up being really late for you. Um, uh, the way this works is they are recorded and um, you can ask questions ahead of time. If you can't attend, I'll answer them and you can watch the recording afterwards. Um, I pick that time just because it gives the widest availability for the widest range of folks from like California and the US West Coast um, all the way through most of Europe um, uh, and Africa and the Middle East. Um, so, you know, it's again, it doesn't, doesn't cover everybody, but it gets the widest time range for as many people as possible. Um, and um, yeah, it is just a really, really great program. Um, so you can register starting today. And if you register today through Sunday, this is the part where I give you that special code, so pay attention. Uh, today through Sunday with the code EARLYBIRD, you can get 40% off registration of the next session, which runs on April 3rd uh, and runs for six weeks. Um, the price for the program before the discount is $995. Um, but if you register this week and use that code early bird, uh, it'll only cost you $597. And I also have payment plans. So if you don't have that in hand right now and you want to take the program anyways, you can pay spread out over three months with that code. It's $232 a month. And that is before any location based discount. So if you live outside the U S in a place where the exchange rate makes this stuff, um, unfairly expensive compared to what someone in the US might pay. My checkout system is going to automatically adjust the price based on where you live. Um, you will see that at checkout. So if you apply for that uh, on the checkout page, here, I'll just, I'll click the link. So you can see uh, right up here, there will be a picture of your country's flag and a big message letting you know that a discount has been applied. And this this number will be different here. It'll say, here was the original price, here's what you're gonna pay, and then you still get that early bird discount. Um, so uh, yeah, if you are looking to make an investment in yourself, this is one of the best ways to grow your JavaScript skills this year. Um, I have helped over a thousand students become a lot more comfortable with their JavaScript skills through this program. I'm looking forward to helping even more students 
over the next year. Um, hopefully you'll be one of them. So check that out, vanillajsacademy.com. Promo code EARLYBIRD. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with more of my Vanilla JS quick tips. Cheers.